Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's just talk about weekly contest 171, fourth question, minimum distance to type a word using two finger. So we are given a keyboard um, with a square of um, five times six. So we basically need, just need to loop through it um, for each of the indexes to build from A to Z for the capital letter. And then later on, we build it to hash map. So we, when we want to type like uh, Q, we know which X coordinate and Y coordinate is the Q. So, um, and next thing is how we determine the minimum distance um, of finger moving around. So, um, yeah, the distance will be from our last position of the finger. Let's say first finger is at I, and then we were going to move it to Q. So the distance will be three. So two to the two difference in the x uh, x axis and then two position uh, one position in the y axis so the state of the dp itself um we we can determine by um the position of first finger second finger and which index we're gonna type like um we're, we're gonna type um index three of the letter k and where is our position of first finger and where is our um, position of second finger as the DP itself. So let's see the implementation. So here um, I have a function called um, check distance of um, two coordinate and basically it this match with, with the formula for the distance but if any of the coordinate is null then we assume it will be zero for the distance itself since we will start from that point. And then, um, yeah, as I said, the minimum distance, we loop through all the um, square to build up, build up our um, key map from the character and where is the coordinate of that character. And then basically, we will solve it using DP. So um, here I separate the first finger and second finger as two separate um, index here. And then uh, what is the index of character in the world we, we're gonna type it out so if we already finish all of the index then basically we return zero otherwise um, we choose whether we're gonna type it using the first finger or type it using second finger and then continue to our sub problem so if we type using first finger first finger we will move to um, the character we type last as the coordinate and the uh, second finger will still remain at its original position. Same thing if we use the second finger, first finger will be still in its position, and second finger will move to the character we choose. And then from those two, basically we can get the output of the minimum cost. And to avoid the rep repetition, here the DP itself, uh, what I do is um, I use the key of the first finger, second finger, and which index we, we are going to type. Actually, first finger and second finger, actually, um, we can um, optimize it also. Like, um, because um, if there are two positions, let's say um, we are at position um, 0, 1, and then th second finger is at position 3, 2, it doesn't matter if the first finger is at 3,2 and then second finger is position z uh, 0 0.1. So actually, first finger and second finger, we can assume it as a set. Let's say if we have more than two finger to type it out. But yeah, um, basically the the state of all the finger um, will be as uh, having a same hash in that case. So yeah. But in this case, yeah, uh, I just um, specify it out as set first finger and second finger as um, separate things. So if 0, 1, 3, 2 and 3, 2, 0, 1, um, I will recalculate them again. So yeah, that part actually can be optimized. So yeah, that's it for this question. Thank you for watching. See you on the next weekly contest.